Hi guys, I'm Pav. Uh, welcome to the channel and welcome to the shirt collection video that I decided to uh, post and uh, record and post on YouTube. Like I said, um, I've been collecting football shirts and actually jerseys for quite some time now, probably 10 to 15 years. More recently, I have picked up a lot of football shirts specifically uh, and traded out a lot of my basketball and American football and hockey stuff. Uh, and only, I've only kept the those that actually mean something to me in terms of those sports. Um, but most of these are football shirts, so bear with me. So I wanted to start off actually by uh, showing you some memorabilia that I have. So if a little bit about me, if you don't know me, uh, I'm originally from Russia, from Podolsk uh, in Russia. And uh, my boyhood club, the club that I support is Spartak Moskva, which is the most popular club in uh, Russia. And actually my dad played for them back in the day. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was really cool. I support them to, to this day and will always support them. Uh, another, another scarf that I have, um, it actually has two clubs, Seattle Sounders and Toronto FC, and on the back it says MLS Cup. And a little backstory about this, uh, I was actually a sideline photographer for this match in Toronto, Canada in uh, 2017, I believe, or maybe 2018. Uh, I actually don't remember where it went to penalties. I was a sideline photographer, it was a cool story. I actually had this little clearance uh, thing that I had to wear. It was really cool, met some really cool people and kind of went on from there. Uh, but moving on, I just wanted to share, like I said, I wanted to share the football shirt that I have. Uh, please bear with me, it might be a very long video, uh, but hopefully you might be interested in this because like I said, it is my passion. And uh, there's a lot of football talk and football shirt talk that goes on on Twitter. So if you guys like this video, uh, please you know, comment something, comment which shirt is your favorite, um, share your collection with me, share your gems and absolute um, beauties that you have in your collection. But uh, first off, I'd like to start off with uh, the main man Mo himself. He's wearing a 2006 Stoke City shirt, I believe. Britannia on the front and the Lecoq Sportif sponsor. Um, it was so large, yeah, I believe it's a triple XL that they had in stock, but I wanted the Lecoq Sportif shirt and it's still the only Lecoq Sportif shirt that I have in my collection. And I decided to give Mo uh, the shirt because he fits in it and uh, looks great in it as well. So starting off, uh, some shirts that I don't really care about. Uh, hopefully the lighting is okay, and also I apologize for the audio. I could not get my microphone. I have a blue snowball mic, uh, so obviously I didn't want to hold it like this. And uh, so I'm recording with my phone. Big apologies for the audio and like, just the quality of this video. I just wanted to kind of share what I have with you, uh, and hopefully you share what I have with others, and we can kind of start a conversation about football shirts. Uh, also, big shout out to Phil Delves. Uh, I'll leave this channel link in the description. He is, of course, if you know, if you follow football shirts and if it is your passion, then you know exactly who Phil Delves is. He's kind of the shirt guy. Um, he's a great, great man. And like I said, um, I'll leave his channel link in the description. He does great videos uh, on his channel. And um, yeah, quality guy. So anyways, um, like I said, starting off with some shirts that don't really mean much to me. This is the Fenerbahce shirt from 2006, I believe, uh, with a turkey flag and the Fenerbahce logo with Ezra on the back. I'll tag ruined football shirts on Twitter, but I don't think this was actual player, uh, so this is up for sale on my eBay page. Um, next up, shirt that actually means something to me uh, is this CSKA Moscow shirt. Very controversial, I know. Uh, actually, the most controversial shirt that I have in my collection, but it is something that I've looked forward to and uh, an absolute gem in my collection. Super duper rare. I can't find many people that actually own this shirt in general. This is from 2004, 2005, uh, or maybe even 2005, 2006 uh, year when the Tsetskaya Moscow actually won the UEFA Cup, which is now the Europa League. And this is the shirt that they wanted in and they wore it uh, throughout that campaign. Obviously Tsetskaya are bitter rivals to Spartak and I absolutely hate them in real life, especially now. Uh, where their management is just terrible. But um, back then, if your team goes out of the competition, so Spartak went out in the Champions League and Lokomotiv and Zenit St. Petersburg went out in uh, the group stages as well, this was the only team left back then. So obviously me and my dad, which you'll see this pa pattern with a lot of these shirts is most of them just, the reason why I have them in my collection is for nostalgia purposes. And a lot, you'll see most of them are from 2004, 2006 era. Uh, because that's when I have the most memories of me and my 
my father who's passed away uh, recently. Uh, we just have a lot of memories. I have a lot of memories of watching games with them, with him, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And this was the team we both hated so much and still to this day do. Uh, but again, we had to support them because they were the only Russian team left and they ended up winning the competition. Um, and same story actually in 2007, 2008 season when Zenit St. Petersburg won the Europa League or UEFA Cup. I don't actually remember if it was called Europa League back then. I think it was still called the UEFA Cup. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm looking for their shirt uh, and a reasonable, for, reasonable price for it as well. And I just hate the fact that they're so rare and that you have to get them obviously from Russia. And I hate the fact that I'm not in Russia in, or, in order to get them. So uh, if you've seen them or if you know where uh, I can get one, please let me know, obviously apart from eBay, uh, which I'll probably get one from there. Uh, eventually, but this shirt again, this means so much to me. I want to bring it in and show you guys how beautiful it is. Um, it is, it says Sibnieft on the front. I guarantee you, um, not a lot of people have this. And also, a really cool touch is uh, this sleeve design here. It actually has a Russian flag, so Beli Sini Krasny, white, blue, and red, or navy. Uh, with the lighting, it might be really bad. And of course, on the back, it has that as well. And uh, this was the club where they had, I mean, I could probably tell you. Their lineup right now, in, and I absolutely hate Tsetska so much, but I can tell you their exact lineup in the UEFA Cup competition from that year, just like that. Um, just so many memories from this. Again, like I said, I wish there was someone, some, play, some player name on the back, but it wasn't to be. So this is an absolute gem we'll keep in my collection forever until the day I die. Uh, and again, as controversial as it is to, support, to have a Tsetska shirt, the bitter rival of my club, uh, I will, again, I will just own it forever. Next up I have is another beauty, which doesn't mean as much to me, but still just very gorgeous shirt, is the Borussia Dortmund um, 1996 long sleeve shirt. This is the Bumblebee looking shirt. Um, it of course has a sleeve. You know a lot about this. It is a very popular shirt, but also very rare. Uh, a lot of people want this. Um, and um, I was lucky enough to find it in my charity shop for like four, $4 or something like that. But just beautiful design, absolute mint condition, and uh, thank you for whoever left it at the charity shop. Uh, it goes into my straight in my collection. Probably will never let it go either, just because of how beautiful it is. Next up I have is another shirt that means a lot to me. It is the Morocco national team shirt from this year, maybe the previous year actually. Uh, but this is the shirt. Um, so, so a little story, backstory about me. I coach um, a high school team at a place where I work. Um, and uh, it's my job. Yeah, so one kid we had who actually went on a mission trip, a uh, Christian mission trip to Morocco. He lives there now currently, and when he came back to visit, he brought me this shirt, which says Morocco on the back, and I believe it says Morocco in Arabic here. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, it's absolute beauty. We'll always keep my collection, like I said. Um, I have to hurry because it's getting really dark, and I don't want to turn on this light because it's not a great light. But anyways, this next up is uh, 2002 Aston Villa shirt, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I'm not don't, not exactly sure on the on the age, but uh, or on the year. But I am an Aston Villa supporter. It just it's a shame that they're probably going to go down. And again, this is the shirt that uh, I remember me and my me and my dad watching a lot of games and when they were in the Premiership Premiership and uh, a lot of games when they played against Birmingham City, which was a huge rival back in the day and still is. But for me, um, those games were just incredible because of how much passion they showed uh, in those matches. Next up is a random shirt uh, in my collection. Is Maccabi Tel Aviv, which is a Israel Israel top division shirt. You've probably heard of them from the Champions League and the Europa League games. Uh, they play in there occasionally. They usually get top three in Israel, so they qualify for Europa League. And uh, this is actually from a year where uh, 2017, I believe, 2000 maybe 2018 even, uh, but or maybe even before that. I'm not actually actually sure, but it has a really cool design. It's kind of like a zigzag, and it goes all the way around here. And then on the way on the back, it kind of connects. So there will be a sponsor here and a name here, and it goes on this side and kind of loops in. So it's a really cool design, really clean as well. It is yellow and purple, I guess. Uh, really dark navy. Next up is a shirt that everyone should have in their collection, and I'm sure most of you do as well. Uh, if you don't, I will leave a link to the Bradley Lowry Foundation where you can get this shirt, and 100% of the profits go directly to the Bradley Lowry Foundation. Uh, I'm not going to speak much about it because it's such a great cause uh, and everyone, most of you probably know about this, so I'll just leave a link. Uh, please buy the shirt and support this um, foundation and this charity. It's, what they're doing is absolutely insane and um, I, applaud, I applaud them. 
uh, for, for doing so. And uh, yeah, so it just says for Bradley and for everyone. It is, I'm sure you all know who Bradley Lowry was. Um, the kid who supported Sunderland was an avid supporter of Sunderland and uh, passed away with cancer because of cancer. So uh, if you don't own the shirt, like I said, they are restocked. Please buy them uh, to support the charity and uh, keep this beautiful shirt in your collection. Next up, I was kind of skimmed through this really quickly. It is a basketball Denver Nuggets Carmelo Anthony shirt. Uh, again, just one of those. I support Denver Nuggets in the NBA, so I decided to get Denver, uh, the Denver Nuggets jersey. This is Birmingham Barons baseball shirt, minor league baseball team, actually the one that Michael Jordan played at uh, back in the day when he played baseball, when he retired from basketball and played baseball. Uh, this is a hometown team for me. Their stadium is like 20 minutes down the road for me, so I decided to get a shirt, their jersey. And it's really cool because it's cream and red. It's quite a neat color combination. Uh, next up is this shirt right here. It is a hockey jersey from Dinamo Moscow. Again, uh, the reason why I have this is because my dad actually gave it to me. His friend, uh, his number is on the back, Simeonov 15. He played for Dinamo Moscow, and I believe this is maybe game worn it may not be not exactly sure it may just be one of this, one of his collection shirts um so obviously my dad is not with me anymore but i have a little piece of his memorabilia that he had and he's passed on to me uh next up i have is a beautiful sweater uh hockey sweater florida panthers again fantastic design absolutely love this logo shame they don't use this logo anymore no one on the back it's kind of a, one of those center ice practice jersey by me by ccm next up is a shirt that means a lot to me as well um, is the Jordan Howard Chicago Bears alternate jersey from his rookie year. Uh, this is a guy, a good friend of mine. We went to high school together when I moved to the United States, had a lot of classes together, and uh, he ended up getting drafted in the NFL, played for Chicago Bears, now plays for Miami Dolphins. This is his actual jersey, and uh, he went and signed it for me as well. Let me check on the lighting really quickly while I'm over here. Well, the lighting is actually terrible, so I decided to turn on this light. Uh, it may be a little bit more yellow, so my apologies for that, but I'm losing daylight really quickly, so I just kind of want to go through this uh, again quite quickly, like I said. So again, Jordan Howard jersey, um, his signature right here, really cool. Uh, we'll always keep this in my collection forever. And next up, I have not even a jersey, not even a legitimate jersey, it's just, it just says USA. Uh, this is the one I actually wear a lot. Most of these I don't wear at all because I want to keep their condition. Uh, next up, is I have a fan jersey from the 2002 World Cup when Brazil um, you know, played and had some quality players there. It says Japan Korea right there, maybe a Coca-Cola sponsor. One of those fake ones, but again, brings a lot of memories. Uh, so good shirt to have in the collection. Next up I have is the Spartak Moscow 2014 shirt. Uh, this is the year where Quincy Promes, who I have on the back, joined Spartak um, from the team that he was playing at the time, which I actually don't remember which one it was. Was it PSV or Ajax? Uh, honestly, don't remember. I think it was Ajax. But uh, anyway, so yeah, this has his shirt with his number on the back. Uh, I actually got the shirt as soon as I heard about the news that he was coming to Spartak. Back in the day, no one really knew who he was and they paid you know, very little money for him. But I thought it was really cool that uh, we got a new signing and we needed to do something with our club. Uh, and of course he wore 24 the first year and then changed his number to number 10. Uh, so this is really cool because not a lot of people have Pramias with 24 in the back. So that's really cool, really neat. Uh, next jersey is one of probably, actually probably my favorite jersey of all time. Um, it is, to have, I have so many memories of this shirt specifically because back in the day uh, in Euro 2008, Russia finished third. So they got bronze medal in the Euro 2008. And uh, this is the shirt that they wore. But first of all, the design of this is absolutely beautiful. And I'm so happy that for the Euro 2021, Russia's away jersey will be similar to this. It will actually have a Russian flag on the side or on the front. But this one specifically, uh, please let me know if there's any, any way you can find a actual match worn or just a player issue shirt. Where, Because of course, if you know, um, there was this spot right here in the middle where the flag ended and their, the player number actually went on. Um, and I can't seem to find it anywhere. I actually, I've gotten an answer from somebody in Russia who has said that they actually did not give out those shirts to anyone apart from the players. So you couldn't buy one with a number on the front. But I'm not sure if that's true because all Russian jerseys, all Russian national team jerseys, you could get one with a number on the front. Um, so who knows? 
Uh, if you know, please let me know. Next up, a shirt that I have a lot of memories from is, again, me and my dad watching Arsenal. Uh, actually, we started watching the year before the Invincibles in 2002. My favorite player of all time and will always be Thierry Henry. No one will ever top that. Uh, and Dennis Bergkamp was pretty cool as well. And uh, I actually mentioned this uh, in the comment to Phil Dell's video where um, I asked him what his favorite template of a design was. And to me, it is definitely the 2004, 2005, 2006, 2004-2006 Nike design, Nike template with a little shield around. I'm sure you have fond memories of this. Um, of this design, maybe in this, this specific shirt as well, but who knows? Uh, there's a lot of shirts that I actually have um, with uh, that I want to own, and I remember a lot uh, from this era as well. So this is one of them. Next up is another shirt that means a lot to me. is actually a fictional team. Uh, shout out to Dr. Benji FM. He is a football manager uh, YouTuber, and he actually created this team uh, called Tens of C on on, on uh, his uh, videos for his channel. And um, this is the shirt that they created for that club with, of course, the legend Ben Hur on the back. If you know, you know. Um, he was an absolute legend. Moving on, I have a Morelia uh, Mexican shirt. Uh, I'll say one thing about these Latino American shirts, uh, or Latin American shirts, uh, mostly Mexico, Argentina, and Brazil, because those, those are the ones that I own. I'm sure all the rest of Latin America is, has the same shirts as well. But their designs are just incredible. They're so out there. They have so many different sponsors, and they're just beautiful to me. Uh, so again, this shirt is not legitimate because it, it's not an actual brand, Esmir. It's not the match brand, but it's a really cool shirt because it has really cool sponsors on the back as well. So I will always keep in my collection. Next up, I have a hockey jersey with uh, this is a Sweden national team jersey from a long, long time ago when Matt Sandin, the captain of the national Swedish hockey team, back when he retired in 2005 or 2006 um, this was his rookie year this is the first year that he played for Swedish national team because ever since his first year uh, moving forward he would have had the C on the front for captain so this is a very valuable shirt next shirt I have is a training top I think it's a training top from South Africa uh, national team again really simple design I wanted to have um, their shirt in my collection so I ended up getting one um, Shout out to the 2010 South African World Cup. Next up is a shirt that means, again, means a lot to me, um, is the Dagenham and Redbridge shirt uh, from 2014, I believe. Uh, one of my, my football manager uh, career modes that I did, uh, saves, was with Dagenham and Redbridge. And actually, fun fact, if you know, if you follow Grime in the UK, if you are from the UK, which if you're watching, more than likely you are from the UK, um, so sorry for my American accent, but, or American Russian accent, really. Um, yeah, so if you know uh, Grime, you know Kamikaze, also known as Matt Robinson, that's his actual name. He actually plays and captains Dagenham and Redbridge in real life and also produces music, which his music is really cool uh, if you haven't heard of it. Next up is a very valuable uh, Russian national team's uh, hockey jersey. This was a uh, player issue, I believe, with Sergei Fedorov on the back. And the reason why I know this is because uh, I keep checking eBay for these. And there's very few of them, but the cheapest one that you can find is starts at the bidding starts at four hundred ninety nine dollars, so five hundred dollars, uh, or maybe actually three hundred ninety nine, so four hundred dollars. It's a very valuable shirt. It's uh, really really expensive apparently, and I also have his actual Detroit Red Wings uh, Stanley Cup jersey, which with all the patches and everything. So I think this is the one that he would would have actually worn if you wore this one, and of course, Sergei Feller up on the back as well. Um, next up, next up, moving quickly, uh, because my phone is about to die that I'm recording on, is FCC on. Uh, this shirt means a lot to me as well, because back in the day, uh, when I was in university, I had a lot of free time, and I played FIFA career mode, like I said. Um, I've played every single FIFA career mode since 2005, whenever it was first introduced. My favorite game mode of all time, and I wish the career mode and EA guys would actually improve the career mode. Uh, and make it like it used to be. But um, back in the day, if you know, most career modes, you could not start at a big club, like United or City, or well, actually City were not a big club back then, uh, but you could not start at like Chelsea or Arsenal or whatever. You had to go through the ranks. You had to start at the lowest of the low and then move your way up to become a manager. And FC Seattle was one of the teams that I managed in 2016, I believe. Uh, one of my favorite players of all time, still to this day, will be Ebenezer Esifua, the Ghanaian, right winger slash striker who now plays somewhere in France and I'm 
desperately trying to find the jersey with Ebenezer Esifua on the back. He wore number 21, and I got him to be like a 90 overall. And then when I moved, a story, long story, but when I moved from Sion to like Barcelona, I bought him and a lot of fun times, but a memory that only I will have, obviously, because of the FIFA career mode. England 2004 top uh, that they wore at the Euros. Uh, I'm sure all of you watching have seen the shirt or probably own it. Uh, Celtic 2004 top with, with whenever Henry Clarkson played for them. Uh, it's a very, I think it's actually a women's fit, uh, but still, I wanted to keep it in my collection. Next up is might be a match issue shirt, might not be, uh, considering judging by the tag, it probably isn't. But it's a Stuttgart 1997 shirt with uh, number 17 on the back. I'm not sure who it is, but again, it's, I found it in my local charity shop. Uh, and uh, it's in really, really good shape. And apparently they're also pretty rare as well. Uh, next up, like I said, I have quite a few Spartak tops. This is back from 1998, I believe, or 1996. Um, Spartak, old, old time, old school jersey with a Kai on the front. And of course, number eight, which is actually my number. Uh, that I've worn throughout my whole career. Uh, next up is another Latin American shirt. Uh, this time is from Brazil and is Flamengo, uh, made by Umbro. It is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And also a lot of sponsors on the back as well. Uh, and the best part of the kit is this gorgeous Umbro strip on the sleeves. Um, we'll always love that. Next up, I have a Russian national team shirt again, um, again, because I am from Russia and I uh, have a lot of memories from the 2018 World Cup, as it was very recent, as we knocked out Spain by the uh, you know the toe of God, not the hand of God, but the toe of God of Igor uh, Kiev. But yeah, this is the shirt uh, with Lavin on the back. Again, a lot of memories from this. Um, I lost my voice a lot because of this particular tournament, and yeah, great, um, great memories. España training kit, training kit top from 2000. Six, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. Next shirt means a lot to me. Next two actually mean a lot to me. The last ones that mean a lot to me. So this is a 2004 Real Madrid uh, away kit. The black one. The Los Blancos. Uh, the reason why I enjoyed this is because, again, me and my dad watched a lot of their games. We supported Arsenal back then and also Real Madrid. Um, and uh, back in the day, my second favorite player, and actually the player that I grew up uh, idolizing and wanted to be like because of the position that he played, was Guti Hernandez, which was number 14 midfielder for, uh, box to box midfielder for Real Madrid. And he still gave the be most beautiful assist in my mind when he back heeled, uh, when he was in front of one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and he back heeled to Zidane or maybe Beckham or Raul. I don't actually remember who, or maybe, no, it wasn't Benzema. But um, so he back heeled to somebody to score a goal. Absolutely beautiful, look it up if you don't know what it is. Again, beautiful shirt. Uh, next up is another FIFA career mode shirt. Um, so back in the day, I did a career mode with Roma, and uh, I wanted a bit of a challenge. So I started a career mode with, I sold all the good players and actually played with the worst possible players on the team. Uh, and I got players from random nationalities. And their goalkeeper was actually the goalkeeper that played for them in real life. And this is his exact shirt that he wore uh, actually didn't wear, but was match issued. Uh, is Thomas Schwitkowskis. Uh, this is a match issue shirt, very, very stretchy, uh, legitimate material, and uh, it has Thomas Schwitkowskis on the back, which I've tried to contact him multiple, multiple times to get it signed, because like I said, he's the keeper from Lithuania. He might actually now be the Lithuanian captain, uh, but he played for Roma at the time, and uh, I got him to like a 95 overall and won everything with Roma because of this guy right here. In goal. Next up, my last four shirts that I have. First up, I'll go really quickly because my phone's probably about to die if it's not dead yet. Uh, Falkirk 2006 Lotto shirt, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong again. But uh, this is the shirt that uh, they Lotto designed with a really, really cool design with these little like strips going at the side and also here. And I remember this because in 2006, Ukraine wore this at the World Cup in Germany because Russia didn't make it, so I had to support Ukraine. And this is the kit. Design the design that they have by Lotto and also Colombia. Colombia had that as well. Um, Colorado Rapids, uh, nothing much to say, just kind of a really cool old time MLS kit with an MLS old time badge, which still was one of the best badges ever created. Next up, maybe uh, this might be a youth academy player issue, uh, not exactly sure, it might be even match worn, but it is Vasco da Gama. Usually, obviously, like I said, 
Uh, Latin American shirts have lots of sponsors on them everywhere. The whole shirt is filled with sponsors, but this one doesn't. And it has number nine on the back. Uh, it's kind of worn off, but uh, I believe this might be a player issue shirt to one of those uh, youth academy prospects. Um, I tried to look up who the player nine, number nine was at the time. Still don't know because back in the day, transfer market did not record player numbers for the roster spots. And last but not least is my um, Leon shirt with Hyundai on the front. Um, just beautiful design. And that's really why the, the reason why I have it. And of course, League One doesn't say what year. It doesn't. I'm not sure what year it is. But anyways, uh, I think this is 2013 actually. And two more things. Let me really quickly bring them to you. So two more things I wanted to show you guys is actually the prints that I made. Um, not really prints, but also not really frames. But I want to put these up in my wall, on my wall, uh, in my office that's right behind me. Um, the first one is Ruba Nisoroi, which of course is, again, the 2004 2006 design, the shield again on the front, it had, I wish you could see it, but in front it had the Netherlands logo, number 10, and on the back of course it has Ruben Um uh, Beautiful, beautiful shirt. You can still make, you can still kind of see the Total Lining logo in the back. Um, I want to uh, put this on my wall, like I said, and uh, the way I did this is I got a canvas that you paint on um, and stapled the shirt uh, with a special staple gun. Uh, to not damage the shirt, which I'm sure is still damaged a little bit, but uh, again, I want to have this on my wall. And next up is another one that I did, and uh, it is the R9 Ronaldo. Um, this is not an actual shirt, not a legitimate football shirt, but one of those fan versions, uh, because this was never a print um, on the back of their shirts. This design and the font was never uh, legitimate. They never played in this. But the cool part about it is I got it at the charity shop. Um, and I thought, why not get it? But it has like the Brazil um, in the background. It's hard to tell. You might not even see it with the lighting and considering how yellow the light above me is. But yeah, this is just a cool print that I had um, and decided, a cool shirt that I had and decided to, again, staple it to this canvas, uh, which will go on my wall. Uh, which begs me to ask you guys, uh, the question of the video for today is, how do you store your football shirts? Um, if you're a collector, which I'm sure you are, and watching this video, um, please let me know how you store them. Do you have them hung up on the wall? Do you have a rack with shirts in random order? Do you have them organized? Do you have them uh, folded and somewhere put away? Or um, how do you collect them? And um, let me know in the comments below. And also, uh, if, you feel, if you feel so inclined to, like this video, subscribe to the channel because I will try to continue talking about football shirts and uh, I may be doing some podcasts very soon, um, starting soon. So hopefully that works out. Um, again, shout out to Phil Delves for inspiring me to make this video um, and all these football shirt collectors, the kit man on Twitter um, and all the collectors that uh, inspire me every day. And also, uh, like I said, please share this video if you feel so inclined to on Twitter. I would love to sort of a conversation with you and maybe some others about my favorite shirts and just some interesting opinions uh, on football shirts and uh, share the passion with me. And so let me know in the comments below, like I said, answer the question that I asked you in regards to how you store the shirts and uh, we'll go from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, again, my name is Pav, and um, I'll see you in the next time.